Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail here today with some Black Rock Mountain Adventure Mode for Hearthstone. So we're just going to go ahead and dive on in. This is the uh, normal mode. We'll see if we get any special banter here for anything. I'm not sure if we will, considering I opened it before to try and get it together. But cards in play for this time are Grim Perry Chain, which is kind of meh. Gang Up, which could be good probably from someone smarter than me. Uh, Resurrect, which is probably going to be a staple for many creature-based priest decks. Note, that's most of them. And Emperor Thurisian, who is just amazing. So definitely shooting for that for Control Warrior and otherwise. Let's go ahead and unlock the key. Like so. You don't unlock the key, actually. But going to Blackrock Depths. And Blackrock Depths, I do have plenty of, I don't want to call it nostalgia, but memories and wow of going to all of these different locations and doing a lot of it in vanilla wow. And Blackrock Depths is... One of those places that I was never able to successfully clear in Vanilla WoW because, well, it was just really, really long and groups would die to get her out. The Dark Iron Dwarves are enslaved by Ragnaros. Fight <laughs> through them to reach the Fire Lord. Great. So, apparently, uh, our good friend there, Nefarian, wants me to fight the Ragnaros, the Fire Lord. If we get there, it won't be till the Molten Core, but first place is the Grim Guzzler, which you need to fight. I guess these guys are probably going to patron as a result. Okay, put a minion out for, put a minion from each deck into the battlefield. That's, that's gonna be funny. Get a grim patient from this. Let's see, kind of what we do here. I guess I will go. You know, what? let's be funny. Let's take my stupid priest deck. Why not? Because this is gonna put a lot of creatures in the field, but. This deck's kind of funny. So hello. Alright, so hello, Corn Dire Brew. Pretty good opening start here. Don't really like Dancing Swords to start with. But yeah, this is my crappy priest deck from a video I made a little while ago. This is a slightly better start, albeit not super great. But we'll see if uh, we get minions dropped every single time. So my turn first. Everyone! Ha ha! Now. We've got a guest. So Ready. what does he say when I say hello? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oops, excuse me. Now Corrin Diabrew, for those of you who are not familiar with him, is uh Oh, really? Baron Geddon right away. That's cute. Alright. I am now a little bit of ways in trouble. Alright, so one extra card, second Ancient Watcher. This is not gonna go so well. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even attack with the Nostra Cleric. That's fun. Alright, so we're not supposed to get Baron Geddon right away. Oh now, let's give him a war. Wow. Okay. Good thing Baron Geddon's just gonna kill everything right there. Alright. So I just throw, should have thrown the bodies in there, but Alright. Turn three. Do we go for another card draw or do we just go ahead and draw you? Because this guy's just going to die anyway. Uh, let's at least develop the Watcher. Let's go ahead and... Uh, what's this really going to do for me? I don't know. Silence. Silence could be golden here in just a minute. But... We'll see if he goes face or I can always trade this into there. I mean, I have good cards in my deck, too. There we go. Of course, I'm dying straight on, so it's not that good. Wailing Soul, Silence Everything. You know what? Might as well at this point. So. Silence, I'm at 10 mana. Tradesies. Right away. Tradesies. Face. May have already been down too far in the deep. Because this is just going to go fade. Really? Well, it's a legit deck. And I got very lucky that he decided to trade here, so. We'll see what we have here. Mogor the Ogor. Let's say hello to. Uh, well, let's see here. All minions have 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy. That's pretty cute. But we will... Do I silence that is what I want to know. Do I have lethal right now? 15 damage. No, 13 damage. 
don't have quite enough there so I guess the uh, next step to make I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna have to silence this but I kind of want to save the silence for rag well the the smarter thing to do right here is to establish taunts Shields up. so let's see if we can get a little more damage in there oh maybe silencing would have been the best option oh well at least this isn't, isn't going to attack the wrong target. Good! Here we go. Only one ton up, unfortunately. And now I'm not going to be summoning much else. Really, a brawl. Oh, that makes sense. I would love it if Rag survived. But no. Okay, I am screwed. Ish. Yeah. You have that. Okay, so crappy deck doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, let's take this seriously. Let's do it. Alright. Court and Dire Brew. What deck has good creatures? This deck has a lot of good creatures. If it pulls out creatures from the list, it should be uh, a little bit better. Yeah, you don't usually see people fail like that, but that Baron get in the first turn. I mean, that deck, I ended up stopping playing it because it was getting wrecked by AoE all the time, and Barragedon at the very get-go is just bad luck. Alright, so... Gonna do it for real. I guess. Now, one thing that... Some of these units have really nice battle cries that I'm gonna have to skip. Oh good, so these light up. I wonder if you light them up all the right time they do something interesting, maybe. Oh, well hello you. We just... I guess we just trade, right? I'm not even going to worry about putting a body out here yet. So at least this is a fun and interesting kind of encounter. Okay, discard a random card. I think our friend would like a dream. Alright, so Dr. Boom, at least I get to keep that battle cry. That's here, so more cards. May as well trade out. Now I have the brawl. Shield slam as well. Not terrible. So what other big things? Baron Geddon again, that's just that's just fun. That's going to take down my shield as well, so... Yeah. Well, if he's going to go face a little bit... I could Cruel Taskmaster and then Death's Bite later, but... I guess I could save that for next turn. Let's see if I can get anything else good right now, because... Baron Geddon apparently likes to come out and play. So this is just a deck of all big creatures. I guess I could technically make a... Good old big creature deck. What lurks in the dead? Wow. It's not the card I expected to see from Corn Diver. Alright, so additional card draw. I'm gonna get attacked just a little bit here, and I've actually okay, I've really gotta watch it here. I'm gonna start losing cards, so five mana. Alright, well, let's execute you. Let's... Oh, that probably should have been the shield slam instead. Oh, well. Let's equip this. And take you on. A little bit more damage than necessary, but whatever. Who comes out now, so... More big creatures. What Less big creatures. Alright. Said so Brawl could be really clutch here. This is going to be really funny if it ends up being a fatigue battle. Alright. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I could kill there. I could just uh, shield slam that. I just don't want to take that much more damage. 
But I guess we gotta clear you. Clear you. Drop you. Good enough. Well, can I get Leroy Deacon to get him out here? Okay. Well, I guess I guess at least I get some of my threats out here now. So, all right. I don't have my good old fancy silence here, so I don't really want to brawl. I guess I could see what damn if this actually hits. All right, so pretty weak shield slam. Rats that or take more damage. Right. Let's see here, is that all minions have the chance to miss? So we'll see what he wants to do. Please kill him. There we go. That's a little better. Alright, unstable ghoul, that's actually really nice. Grim Patron, don't really care. Alright. That doesn't seem like the order the game should have played that in. Alright. Shield block, I think we're I think we're starting to stabilize, alright. Alright, so how the question is how do we want to uh, play this out? So we got one taunt here. Might as well Let's see. I can grab another card. It could be a boom turn. I think I'm safe enough to play uh, Dr. Boom. But it's probably better if I just go ahead and uh, try and get my hits in here. So let's get the Armor Smith out here. For added value. And then may as well sludge belt. And just like that, go from I can't figure this out to I can figure it out. So Grim Patron's not gonna do a lot. That's gonna do a lot, but it's not gonna kill anything in time. You probably wanna interrange the Grim Patron instead, but if you want to knock off the Divine Shield, that's okay. We'll just sit in this now. Maybe. Taste my Strike. I just realized I didn't Strike. have the mana I thought I did, so... Chat lethal! Down to one. Alright, well... Too bad, so sad. Wow, really? ETC. That's funny. And that's a lot of damage that didn't go to my face. That's a lot of armor I'm getting actually, so that's cute. Alright, so missed the battle cry there. Let's just hit him in the face. No need to be in the CQ too much. Alright, so he didn't drop a trinket for me. That's too bad. Oh well. Next person here, so Black Rock Depths. Iron Arena. Oh, this should be a good test of your ability. That's fun. Summon a one-one spectator with taunt. Yeah, this is an annoying part of the instance, but it can get us gang up, which is a card I'm not super stoked about. But hey, hey, wait a minute. The Grim Guzzler came after the Dark Iron Arena. They don't have it right. Uh, let's see here. If they're playing a bunch of one-one things all the time, hmm. If it's a bunch of 1-1 one, one taunts, let's play Mech Mage. Why not? Seems like the thing to do. Okay, I'm hoping for a few more little starting messages here, insulting each other. That's a little better. Now, I'm very curious about how these heroic things are going to go. Versus the Dark Iron Arena! A new challenger! You asked for it. So we could go through all their little text speech thingies. Cogmaster could be good to start with. At least I'll be able to hear our power through things eventually. Snow Chugger could be good. So we have our one-two play. Hello. 
That's cute. I can fix anything. All right, Cogmaster, can you do it? Or are you just gonna summon a one-one spectator? Back from his latest fishing trip, Master Angler, not Pego. I can wait and fish all day. Sweet, is this just gonna be a deck of legendaries? That will make me, that will make me laugh hard. Well, you know what? I guess I'll save the pain. Caught one! Game's cheating. The audience is getting restless! I could take it! Alright. Decent start. Good enough time to uh, get here. Oh sweet, I'm actually gonna get bananas too. Yay, it's like a mill deck. For fun. Alright, can't play all of those just yet. Can't actually play two bananas and trade up. That may be smarter. <laughs> Develop the mech warper. Because right now one of those things is not a super huge threat. Oh really? Change that to a 5-5. Five five. No, I got a squirrel instead of a Mac Warper. Great. That was very nice of you. Alright. Well, let's blast mage. We'll just leave. Over spark up for now. See if he wants to trade into something. Oh come on! Who let him into the arena? Prepare to face the mighty Millhouse. Oh, it's too bad that I didn't save my bananas for that. Or it's too bad I don't have. Uh... There's a lot of things that are too bad that I don't have it right now, but we'll just go ahead and uh, see if we can. Get RNG in our favor. Almost there. And might as well, since you're gonna let me freeze you anyway. There we go. Please welcome the level eleven knoll who became a legend in his own time. Hogger! <laughs> Okay, this is just too funny, but we're gonna have to end it, so. Well played. Nobody can survive against all these legends. Well, what else do you have to say? Survive against all these My legends? Magic will tear you apart. Nobody can survive against Same thing, all same thing. Legends. Well, I survived. <laughs> Yay! Ragnaros will soon be purged from this mountain. I'll purge you, you scaly whelp! Aw, they're so cute! All their little banter to each other. Alright, so that leaves and which one left? Thorisson summoned Ragnaros into this world. Please, destroy him. Okay, so... And his wife defend the entrance to the Molten Core. What does he have? Deal 30 damage. That's fun. What's gonna... I wonder what's gonna happen here. Alright. I guess I'll... you know what? I feel like Face Hunter is gonna be the way to go here. Just because if it's gonna deal 30 damage all the time, might as well have less valuable targets. We're just gonna deal 30 damage to the face. Rexa versus Emperor Thorisan. Thorisan, so that's how you pronounce it. The dark iron wall will never fall. Let the hunt begin. All right. How do I face Hunter? 
I guess I'm keeping that one. Thought I was supposed to go aggressively for one drops, but there we go. Greetings, traveler. Right. Okay, so Thoristian's hero power can't be used. Never attacks minions unless they have taunt. Okay, so we have to leave her alive and we can't taunt. Alright, so that means Animal Companion's gonna be a little fun here. Alright. So he's going aggro, I'm going aggro. That's cute. What are people's thoughts are Imp Gang boss? That could be a uh that could be a good one. We'll see uh, kind of what happens here. Do I knife juggle here? If I'm just going for face, because I'm already losing board right now. I'll just go for face and see if the CPU decides he wants to clear me or not. So I think Face Hunter wasn't the way to go here. Alright, let's see. Should not have played. Should I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted from my Alright. Would have been a much better play if I had played the Lepernome afterwards. Mind if I roll need? So what does the game understand right now? It understands... Put this apple on your head! Put this apple on your head! <laughs> Is it smart to just go for the face? Uh-oh. All these knife jugglers could cause a problem. I hunt alone. Let's do it anyway. Uh, uh. Somebody knife the face, please. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. In turn. What works? Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. Face Hunter is not the way to go here. Alright. That's hilariously good. Oh, I got Liat. Alright. Not out of it yet. Probably out of it now. All I need is like a beast and two kill commands in one draw. All right, that's not what I want. Okay, so we know it's gonna be spamming, spamming, spamming creatures, and you don't want to play things with taunt. So I could I could try and play Druid. I could try and play. I don't even remember what that one is. Let's go Aggro Warrior. Why not? Gerash versus Emperor Thorisan. Well, it's nice that I'm not able to just steamroll through all of these like I had last time. Okay, so there's the War Axe. I'm almost debating just taking her out first, but... Hey, no, we won't do that. Leave my wife alone! <laughs> Greetings! Shut your mouth, or I'll shut it for you! Alright, so what do we got here? So this is very much aggro, aggro, aggro... Did he just coin nothing? That is so weird. Okay. Um, we'll see what we got here. It may be best for me just to try and super aggro everything all the time, but we'll go ahead and play. Strike. Alright. 
buttons here. So I could slam twice and that just puts a bunch of little trinket or tokens on the board. Let's see. Four. Probably better if I just play on curve. Strike. Nice strike. Could start buffing this pretty crazy, but I still don't see like a favorite thing to play here. So three three. Okay. So one little one one imp. Okay, let's get out the uh I kinda wanna play the axe here. I kinda wanna kill you. Strike! Alright. And then we can still clear pretty well. Do I slam? No, I probably just go ahead and get the war axe. Thank you, Frothing Berserker. I've got the beast in my Not what I expected at all. That's not over. Oh good, I can target my hero power. That's just what I want. How do I want to do this? I play you and you at the same time. Go up here like this. Everybody gets a little damaged. Get another card, there we go. That's a potential for quite a bit. Strike. Does the CPU have anything that can stop me? No, it's no flame imp itself. All right. Well, that was easy. Victory. Yay, victory! Two resurrects! Leave none alive! Aw, oh, that's too bad. All these bad guys just want me to kill, 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 but... Now I have Emperor! And I unlock some class challenges. Cool, so... I guess we can do some class challenges next time, but... Let's see, Hunter... Which will give me quick shot, which some people say is OP, some people say is overblown. And then Dragon's Breath, which is not going to get a lot of play from me. But at the very least, let's at least go to the uh, where I was thinking of with good old Emperor here. So here, I have lots of cards that I can play and just think about here. I'm thinking of cutting Kel'Thuzad or uh, Harrison Jones or Bomb Lobber for any of these things. And I'm going to probably try cutting, uh, let's see here. I just passed him, didn't I? Because his first, the first letter of his name is Emperor. Isn't it? Ugh. Let's try this. Really? Six mana, that's why. Alright, well, just thinking about what I can drop in here to play. Mm, I mean, the Unstable Ghoul's done some really good work. Bomb Lopper does some pretty good clearing. Kel'Thuzad has won me some games. So all these cards are pretty good. Harrison Jones is pretty valuable in some matchups. But I think for... Uh, I have my five mana spot's pretty crowded, so I'm going to try ditching the Bomb Lopper for now. We'll put Thorissian in there and see how that goes with Control Warrior. But that's it for now. This is Way to Fail. We'll play more Hearthstone. We'll do probably the... Uh, Clash challenges and try and focus more on some of the heroic stuff, but Solo Adventures is here. 
Hooray! Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all next time.